Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of the Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, as you might expect, in the last couple of weeks, we've been sort of inundated with questions, comments, concerns relative to, to school safety in light of the, uh, the uh, school shooting in Parkland, Florida. And I wanted to make a couple of comments because the, the questions and comments keep coming in. And I think, uh, you know, now is a good time to kind of hit the reset button a little bit because um, when these things have happened in the past, you know, in, around our country, unfortunately, there's lots of energy around them. And then the, the energy kind of dissipates over time until something else, um, unfortunately, occurs. And and I can just tell you, for me personally, I was profoundly impacted by what happened, as, as, as most people have been. And uh, my commitment to the school communities, I, I absolutely am not going to lose, you know, lose the energy and the concern and um, the determination to make sure our schools are safe. And uh, that's my commitment to you all. Now, what we did do, you know, sort of reactively after the incident in Florida was um, we did a few things right away. One was um, we uh, recommended the hiring of three school security specialists right away at our three high schools. And uh, additionally, we asked we asked that each principal meet with their staffs or in some way review their school crisis plans with their staffs. Um, and so that's the those were a couple of things happened right away. And in addition to that, we've been meeting and talking with sheriff's office. They've been doing as Sheriff Mosier personally, as a matter of fact, has been you know, visiting schools and just kind of uh, getting a better understanding of. Um, the layouts of the schools, and uh, he recommended some things to us, and we're we're gonna we're gonna uh, do those things, and um, I, and it's there's always a little bit of a danger in you know laying out there everything you're doing relative to school community safety or school safety. That may that's not always a smart thing to do. You don't want to you know give any uh, potential bad guy. Uh, 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 an advantage. So some things, you, you know, we, we don't share, and I think that's appropriate. Um, so there, there were some things right away, but big picture is I, I'm getting lots of recommendations um, and concerns, etc. And and I appreciate them. And I, I, I believe me, I'm not. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm, I appreciate them. And so to that extent, we're going to meet on uh, the 13th of March with. Our principals, which is to be, this is basically like a principals meeting expanded, principals, law enforcement, um, some local politicians will be in attendance, two school board members, uh, some students, um, parents. Uh, we're, we're we have lots of staff members. We're also parents, so we're kind of uh, commingling those two uh, because we don't have a lot of space. We're in, in this place where it doesn't have a lot of space, uh, but media will be there. They'll be covering the meeting. And um, I, I would expect that um, what will come of this will be some kind of public forum. Uh, we want to look at with these experts, you know, what are the actionable steps that we can take and what, what are those things that are sort of possible and doable? Because, um, again, I don't, I don't claim to be a, you know, the school security specialist expert. I'm, I'm just not. But we have folks in the community who that that's their you know that's their area that's the thing that they're uh, adept in. We want to learn from them. We want to learn all we can from them, and and talk about those things that are going to be most impactful in terms of keeping students safe. So and that that conversation's already begun with law enforcement, the sheriff. I've been many conversations with the sheriff. Um, so we're, we we've begun that conversation, but. We want to more, more formalize it and uh, memorialize it in this meeting where we, we, we leave there on the 13th with actionable steps. And it, it may be, you know, it may be that after that meeting, we, we plan another meeting. I, I don't know. But um, we need to have a serious discussion and we need to hear from each other. Not all arrows pointing in one direction saying, what are you going to do? But looking from within saying, well, here's what we can do. Here, here's what we recommend. Here's what we think is most effective. And let's work together to make this happen. And I think that's great. And I think that's what we need to be doing on the 13th. And that's what we're going to do. But um, I, I just want to tell you, I've, you know, uh, I'm committed to this. Um, this has, as I mentioned, been extremely impactful 
uh, to me personally. I take my job ex very seriously relative to the safety of these kids. There's 11,000 kids in the school division, and I take responsibility for all of them. I, I feel, I feel um, a, an intense sense of responsibility along those lines. And, uh, and when something like this happens, you know, I immediately, I think everyone, they just, you start looking within like, all right, so what can I do to make, even if it's a parent just talking to their kid about, you know, making good choices at schools, et cetera, um, you know, we should all be looking at what can I do to make sure the, school's envir the school environment is more safe. And that, that's, what, that's what we're going to be talking about. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and I hope everyone has a great rest of the week. Thank you.